Our recent survey of uh, 2,000 customers told us that one in three customers are planning to make significant investments in real-time tracking, monitoring and predictive analytics in 2025. So how do businesses that are planning such investments stand to benefit in 2025 and beyond? I think the, what we see on the technology landscape is very exciting right? because we have uh, New technology is getting maturity, and especially talking about AI and the different types of AI that can bring multiple benefits to supply chain, but also players on the visibility side uh, being able to cover more of the supply chain. And that, that is just going to increase the, the scope that they can reach and the quality of the information and decisions that they can make. However, it's super important to realize that we're in a context in which technology itself is not able to make supply chains significantly better. Right? You need to be able to have the right processes so that you can absorb the decisions and information that the, that the technology can give. But also we need to make sure that our people is provided with the competences and capabilities to either make the decisions that it's up to them to make or to execute the decisions in the, in the right way. And this requires not only the teams, but also the teams of the teams, right? Like those partners and everybody that works with them. So I think it's very exciting to hear the number of companies that are planning to invest on technology, but we need to keep, keep in mind that it's also needed to invest on the processes and the people. Now, I feel like we can't talk about technology without mentioning AI, of course. And I see AI as this sort of generative AI sort of replacing me sitting here and asking these questions to you, but obviously it doesn't mean that in logistics. What, what do we mean and what's coming in this area in 2025? Yeah, I think what is very interesting about AI is that it's giving, us, it's giving us a grip into part of the supply chain that before we couldn't grab, right? And that's enabling our people that are experts on supply chain management and on executing on very complex supply chains to be able to then handle the supply chain to achieve their business outcomes that they would like to uh, deliver to their companies. And that's, that's what makes it very exciting. In the moment that you take and that you realize that you need artificial intelligence and the different types, right? Not only generative, but uh, the, the different types that we have. Together with the people, then you're able to change the way supply chains operate to a, to a supply chain that actually deliver on the business uh, outcomes that are desirable. And I think as we advance, uh, supply chain leaders are actually realizing that. And that will open a completely new window of opportunities for everybody who works on supply chain. Now, another area that we see rising in prominence in 2025 will be cybersecurity and risk management. Global risks certainly don't look like they're going away anytime soon. I think we can safely say that. So what do we expect to see in this area coming up for supply chain leaders? Yeah, in the area of cybersecurity, I think is first, first we need to realize that in the moment that we start de digitalizing more of the supply chain, and bringing more partners to help us do that, more risk that we're exposed to. On the other hand also, if the geopolitical context is not stable, that may encourage groups to potentially plan attacks against the, uh, different uh, supply chains and the technology side. So that context looking forward um, yeah, is, is challenging um, because we see digitalization in one hand and we see uh, changes on the geopolitical, on the geopolitical context. Now, for supply chain leaders, what really is important, uh, and we're going, back to, we're going back to the people, is about making sure that they have a proper team in place with the proper mandate and the proper resources. Because if we're investing on digitalization, right, and we're trying to, especially if you're trying to grow your footprint around the world, the exposed to risk is higher. And you need to equip these people to be able to counterattack and to defend and to be a little bit more proactive uh, to make sure that the supply chain is able to run through the next year, but also the years after that. So if I'm a supply chain leader and I'm making investments in technology, people and processes, how do I make sure that my investments are bringing the right kind of value to the business? Uh, I, I think that's a good question. Let's divide it in two parts. One part that relates to the fact that when you invest in technology, you also need to make sure that your processes change and that your people uh, uh, receive the support 
so that the complete chain is actually able to deliver on the value that, that you're applying for. Usually we manage this through the project uh, management teams, right? They make sure that all the activities that are needed on a given initiative actually come to completion. Now, you can even do everything and the value doesn't get realized. So it's very important that we start quantifying the potential value at different stages on the process and start understanding what are the actual levels levels that will take you to achieve that value. And for that, it's important that you build that capability and that you start using it every time you're going to make an investment. To be honest, not only in technology, in any other project on transformation of your supply chain, it's important that you have a comprehensive approach to measure not only that you, the value that you expect, but is the initiative and the project actually in the path to deliver that value. Because if it's not, then you should stop. And if it is almost there, you need to make sure that you do the, the movements and the investments that will make sure that you actually get that value. So in summary, it's about making sure not only that you do the things, but that you track that the value is going to be achieved.